I expect um, a lot of uh, information about the latest developments uh, within education, uh, educational policies in Europe and I expect to uh, do networking and to meet colleagues from the other European countries and I expect us to kind of get getting closer to uh, different kinds of research projects that we would like to engage in. Well, the main thing is that we have now um, gone through a full program, the EduProf, and this is uh, the end of it and the conclusion of it. And uh, it's been a very, to my knowledge and to my expectations, it's been uh, a very fun uh, project and program. And of course we're going to evaluate and uh, conclude on uh, various things. Um, but at the same time, I'm, uh, I'm very concerned about that we're not going to stop here because that's what the steering committee now has decided to formalize the um, universities of applied science network uh, in Europe, uh, which means that we have to figure out what comes after EduProf. So for me, I think two things are very important at this conference. One, to uh, evaluate on the EduProf and conclude it, and on the other hand, to uh, to see the vision and what comes next. I was happy to participate in the UAS Net President's meeting in Lisbon just a few months ago in, in last May. In the meeting, there was a lot of important and interesting discussion about the EduProf, about applied research and working life oriented higher education and the future of our network. Uh, to my mind, the discussion was optimistic and, and future oriented. Basically, it seems to me that we are getting stronger, stronger as individual universities, individual higher education institutions, and also as an organization on, on European level. We are very much looking forward to the new communication on modernization of higher education. We think that the 2006 was a good start and now we have to look even closer what can be done so that we actually and really empower our institutions of higher education to innovate, to educate, to do research on their own terms and not to be over-regulated by governments. And this is, of course, a, a something that you wouldn't expect me to say, being a, a, a sort of solid civil servant from the government side. Uh, but uh, we have seen, we have now experience of reforming our university sector that was done about two years ago, and there has been a, a very... Um, prominent increase in institutional autonomy, and we already see that it actually works. If you allow people work, they will be more innovative if they are not regulated in advance. But, uh, of I think this conference has been very good. It's been very practical, very... Uh, we were just talking there uh, to various people afterwards. Now, what people would say is it's very focused on the real needs of colleges and of uh, people who are uh, responsible for the planning and development of the UASs. Often we talk in very abstract terms, but this is down to the actual practicality of what you need to do and how you need to go about doing it. And I think in that way, everybody has taken something out of it. It has been successful, and even even more than I expected, actually, because because this is hard. I mean, hard times to. I mean, the, the 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 situation in Europe is so difficult now. So it's difficult to get people from the Commission, from the Parliament, to hear these these days because because they, they are so busy and everything happens something new. So they have to be always present elsewhere. But I think also that was an advantage. We really could really focus on 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 the project, what we have achieved, and on our on more less least kind of high rank 
how young people tell with the kind of uh, kind of uh, high profile speeches more 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 down to the earth more 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 practical job actually and 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 also the networking mission for this kind of, of, of conferences has, has been successful. So you really recognize that people were thinking about the topic also the, during the day but also in the evening. So no, I really enjoyed it. And I think there were one or other people where I'm quite sure that we will keep contact. It, it's, uh, it's wonderful that, that we have from, from over 10 countries in Europe that we have. People had and we have a wonderful day yesterday and we were, we were eating in the House of Nobility. And that's quite uncommon that you can go into that building and, and we have very good presentations during the whole conference. So we think the atmosphere has been good? The atmosphere has been extremely good and, and it, it was a, a kind, of, kind of suitable number of people as well, around 130 and, and that's, that's good. You, you almost know everyone. Then on what fundamental is it? Then uh, five, six, seven, we'd have all the advice. Good. Have you come to any big conclusion or thoughts during this conference? Well, certainly looking towards uh, a more structured approach to the development of research in the colleges. I know I made a presentation and others have made presentations on how we put a structure behind it. And other countries have now come and said, look, we'd like to look at your system because we want to evolve ours and we're exchanging information that way. I know now I'm going to uh, Belgium and I'm going to the Netherlands within the next month to take forward some of the discussions that we had here for those two, co those two countries, the UAS sectors. And we'll be learning for Ireland from what they do and exchanging views with them. Yeah. Um. I've got a broader insight into what's going on, especially also in Finland, because we've been presented several nice best practice cases from living labs and some other projects uh, the Finnish people are engaged into. And it was also interesting for me to see the struggles of different groups of the acquainted stakeholders are getting... Uh, for instance, there were some uh, directors from technology transfer offices presenting their projects. How do they do it and what is their perspective on applied science and what do we need? So I got some new inspirations for the future. Yes, I already uh, knew a few things about this project because I've been part of the project uh, since uh, 2008. Um, so I knew already what we had achieved, obviously. Uh, and also uh, I knew a little bit about the perspectives and the uh, possibilities to continue uh, to work together in the, in the field of uh, applied research. Um, I also very much enjoyed the, uh, the conference and the lecture the presentation which was uh, made by uh, Frank Van Voort on, uh, on uh, U mapping and multi-ranking. Um, I think this is the name, the right name, which is very interesting because um, it's, um, it shows clearly that you can also be ranked and evaluated according to your missions, which is very, very important because as UAS institutions, we don't have exactly the same missions as uh, classical universities. And so uh, it would be very interesting to be uh, uh, compared, benchmarked on these grounds. Uh, I like the conference, very nice people, a lot of people who, uh, who are very eager to, uh, to learn more about the possible future for UAS. It's also important, I think, that UASnet is developing itself so that there will be a new organization in Europe uh, which will take you know, the responsibility for the University of Applied, sector, applied Science sector. So uh, that's what I enjoyed very much and uh, I learned that there is a lot of enthusiasm and ambition to develop this sector further and uh, I wish the University of Applied Science much success with that. I, I think it's been a fantastic program. I've been involved in a number of European programs and I think it's one of the more successful ones certainly that I've seen over time. Uh, it's brought a lot of good people together. It's been the first time for researchers within the UAS is to get an opportunity to engage with each other and also for those who are involved in planning and in developing the research program. I've been uh, involved in this for so long and, and, and uh, I really I really believe and I can see the results that, that what we have want, wanted to say for many years 
we get response now to, to, to our achievements. We really, we really are what, you, what, Europe, what Europe needs, and the network has, has, has make, in a way done it. Yes, it's good because we can to meet with a lot of universities of applied science for several countries, and we think that is, that is important that we can show to the European policymakers and also in, inside our, our country that we are like a family and uh, that uh, we have now a very strong uh, net of uh, universities of applied science that, that they are very important not only in applied research but also to the regions and they are very close to the region so that they are very important to the development of the regions. So what do you think the ultimate goal is then? I think the ultimate goal is that you would see um, uh, an influential uh, sector that the UASs in, uh, in Europe have got their rightful uh, influence on policy and money. It's all about policy and money and uh, if you can, if you can uh, create uh, a platform for the UASs, which I think they deserve because what we do is so important. So in combination with classic universities, um, I think that's our, uh, our ultimate goal, that uh, that platform should be created, visible and functional. I just, I suppose, on behalf of UASnet and myself, uh, to thank everybody for their participation, their input, uh, their friendship, camaraderie, the uh, open way in which everybody came to the project and which everybody was willing to discuss their challenges and describe in reality what it was like in their country. This is often something you don't get is this openness and I think that was a real mark of everybody's participation and to thank them all, particularly thank Heinrich uh, as chair of the project and Tamara Vanker who is the project manager for all the work they put into the EduProf project to make it happen.